All right, okay, I guess we'll start here. Hi, everybody, for those of you who have not seen me in a long time. It's really nice to be back. I'm not actually back, I'm just like popping in. And I owe you some explanations as to why I just disappeared. So I hope you stay tuned for the video. It's kind of like a chatty video. I don't really have something in mind. It's just a couple of updates and kind of like a check in to see where I'm at and to ask where you're at and just to connect again. Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay, so let's get started. What's new about me? I don't know if you can tell, but I have a little bit of like a, a new background and part of that is um, just to be completely honest, a lot has changed in my life. A lot is different now and the core of me is still the same. I am definitely well and happy now. It's It's been a, a rough journey, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna say it. I went through a breakup and it was incredibly tough. It was like having the rug pulled out from under my feet and feeling like my whole world has changed. And in fact, it did. And right now, for where I'm at, I feel like it's changed for the better. And I feel that I am a stronger, happier, more authentic person because I'm learning how to tell the truth to myself especially. So yeah, that's different about me. I um, am no longer in that relationship and I am no longer working on any side business at this point in time. And I do have a feeling that that's going to change soon because I do get quite restless and I do really want to learn more and contribute more but for the time being that's not my focus. My focus is on my life and to figure out what it means to live a really good life for me. So for those of you who don't know me, hi my name is Suyin. I think it's a bit uh, late that I'm introducing myself but yeah I'm 30 years old and I just am really interested in money and relationships and life and like how to piece all of these things together. And yeah, I'm also very, very passionate about growth and about being, I guess, real with the things that we're going through, that I'm going through. So yeah, this is what this channel is about. Uh, don't expect frequent videos from me. I, I will just pop by every once in a while, say hi. I guess a couple more updates. I've been working out a lot, you guys, and I don't know if you can tell, but you know, like, I feel like um, my body has changed and I'm very happy about that. You will hear some construction and I'm sorry about that, but I live in an apartment and a lot of construction is going on, so that's normal. So I'll just speak a bit louder. I've been working out a lot more and this has to do with getting into a new routine. So one of the things that I had to change about my routine was that I was getting like, I was feeling stuck in a rut when I was working out in the apartment gym. I did it for, you know, the main purpose of like saving money, where I don't need to spend any amount of money. Just use the apartment gym and it's free because you pay like monthly maintenance with your rental and all of that. And I digress, but Basically, I now spend a lot more money on fitness every month. Um, I spend a lot more than I'm willing to admit. No, I'm just joking. I would admit I'm on class pass right now and I'm enjoying going outside of home to exercise and to like meet up with friends and do it together. And I feel that it's been worth the investment or like the money I put into investing into my health and my friendships or relationships when I do it with my family as well. So I really like that aspect. I think I'm spending like, I would like to think I'm spending 209 ringgit on class pass, but definitely I think I'm spending more because I top up every time I run out of credits and also I go to a particular gym where it does weight training and it's freaking fantastic. I have such a good time there and it really works on like, you know, weights and not hits. Because in my 20s, I was really, really pumped and you know, I want to do that cardio high intensity workout. In my 30s, like I'm 30 now, I, I'm not about that life anymore. It's like, it's too intense. I just want to 
do cardio on a separate day and like do strength training do like mobility and like some reformer in my life you know to to pace it out you know like, and not just do like one whole workout squeeze everything in with hits not any hate on that particular type of workout i'm just saying it's not for me right now at this point in my life i've also been spending more money on going out with friends and by going out I, I'm not that kind of cool kid where I go out and party anymore. Uh, I've never been that kind of person. I like to sleep early. And what we've been doing is we've been going for, uh, on top of like exercise classes, we've been going for meals and we've been going, yeah, practically that's it. Just eat and talk and just spend time together. And that's something that I wanted to focus more on right now in this point of my life to spend time with friends and to like catch up and to more than just catch up, but to be in each other's lives and to have that sort of connection. When I feel like I am connecting with my friends on such a deep level and like with such honesty, and I know that it is rare for uh, the case of a lot of people, but I don't want it to be the exception. I want most of my friendships to go beyond just like, hey, how's your day? Yeah, let's good, let's party. Oh, nothing wrong with that, but I want, I want depth in my relationships with my friends and I'm really starting to see that and it's also because I've been putting more effort and I've been willing to be I guess more vulnerable with them and it's it's a two-way street right so I, I feel very blessed right now to be able to grow that with my friends. Um, another update is that I am also focusing a little bit more on work Currently, so previously when you know doing YouTube and doing a like side business, it gets a bit out of control sometimes. Now I'll just do like the bare minimum for work, and I definitely know that I can improve in terms of my knowledge, in terms of like my risk taking when it comes to sales uh, in my in my day job. So I'm committed to do more and um, to be yeah, just to be a bit bolder. To be bolder in my actions that I take for work because you know like it or not I spend so much time 8 15 to 5 15 or right now during plus I'm on until 4 30 yeah so it's a my as well thing and it's a choice that I am happy about another update is that I'm gonna be traveling soon I am a bit nervous about that so I'm gonna be traveling for practically the whole month of April and it'll be with family so I am challenging myself to be more present with family and to not just fall back into comfortable routines like just eating together. I want to really make sure that we spend good quality time and to really connect because I realize that when I'm focusing on myself, I'm going to leave uh, family relationships a bit on the back burner and, and you know, it's, it's still not wrong, but it's, it's something that I want to work on whenever I'm in their presence and since this is like a big family trip and it's gonna be a long one what better time than then to actually do what I want to do so yeah we're gonna share a lot of experiences together um, I'm looking forward to seeing new landscapes new cities just just new experiences and I'm not saying that it's necessary to travel in order to unlock these kinds of experiences but it it helps a lot. I'm, I'm going to Switzerland and Lucerne in particular. My parents had always wanted to visit. So ever since like, you know, they, they had their honeymoon, they saved so much money to go to Amsterdam and then they, they were going to go to Switzerland but my mom had food poisoning and you know, like they just didn't have money after that and like kids got in the way, time got in the way and now here 41 years later, we are going to go to Lucerne together and we're going to check it out. I don't know much about Switzerland. I'm sure I'm going to learn a whole lot more uh, during this trip. But what I know is that it's going to be incredibly beautiful. I can't promise you I'm going to film landscapes. I'm, I'm going to attempt because as you know, my filming is not the best, but I will do my best that I can. I'll attempt it. Yeah. So that's it. Other than that, I guess something that I need to tell you is I'm undergoing this training and I have had some realizations. So the whole point of this training is for awareness and it's a personal development kind of training. So 
it's um, it's something that I en- I don't enjoy doing, but I like to do throughout my life. So the way I view attending courses and attending trainings is that actually we can learn all these lessons by ourselves by going through life. And if you're lucky, you learn them fast. But if you're if you're more like me, where it takes a while for me to like process uh, the things that I'm going through or like the to synthesize the lesson and to see past my blind spots and all of that, then trainings are really, really helpful because what they do is that they simulate issues and problems or situations and then it's kind of like a cooking pot, a cooking pot where it's like everything's going on and at the same time, it's also like taken away a lot of di- the distractions and the noise that comes with our everyday life. So it's kind of like fully focused, intentional learning that has been devised in a couple of days or whatever, whatever the training looks like. So I'm a big fan of trainings and I feel like this was the right time for me to go for a training, especially to do with self-development. It was my friend Charmaine that introduced this place to me. And uh, I guess like, I'll talk about it more because I'm still midway through. I've only done day two and uh, there are five days in total. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. And I, I realized that now I'm showing up very differently. We used to do trainings when I was back in school, like as a teacher. We used to do like crazy um, experiential business speaking leadership training and I was a very different person back then and how I show up now is also different so yay for progress and I guess that's that's all I want to share today I really hope that you all have been well and I have to say that you know if if anyone is going through a hard time it is completely normal and Something that I learned when I was going through my hard time last year is that I was so stubborn, I didn't want to reach out to friends, and I I really went through a pocket of severe identity crisis where my confidence was just shot, my self-worth was like non-existent. It was so bad to the point where I, I thought what I was thinking was true, and I thought this, I thought that, you know, like I'm not even interesting. Why, why would my friends care about me? And like, there are so many other people who are more interesting, better, more fun to spend time with. Why would they want to be dragged down by my bad times? Or, um, yeah, I don't want to burden them. And like, like saying that now, it just sounds so ridiculous because, you know, your friends are your friends and family as well. Like, they love you, especially if you're going through a hard time. So... Don't be like me. Don't be so stubborn or afraid that you might be a burden to them because it is not the truth. And everybody deserves love and everybody deserves support, especially when they need it the most. So yeah, if if you're not going through a hard time, bless your soul. (laughs) And yeah, I'm just really happy because it's, it's life, right? There, it's not always going to be difficult all the way. There are pockets, there are seasons or cycles, whatever you want to call them. I'm grateful I'm going through a season of, I don't know what you call this, like spring change where things are blossoming and I feel good about myself and happy to work on myself. So yeah, I think that's it for the video. 15 minutes is, is really long, right? So I, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye!